In the vast expanse of the world's oceans, hidden beneath the waves, lies a network of engineering marvels that power our modern world undersea fiber optic cables. These cables are the unsung heroes of our digital age, silently working beneath the surface to keep us connected. These cables, thinner than a garden hose, carry the vast majority of our international data, enabling everything from video calls and financial transactions to scientific collaborations and social media. They are the lifelines of our interconnected society, ensuring that information flows seamlessly across the globe. They are the unseen backbone of global communication, forming a vast and intricate web that spans continents and oceans. Undersea fiber optic cables are bundles of incredibly thin strands of glass, each capable of transmitting pulses of light over vast distances. These strands are meticulously engineered to ensure minimal signal loss and maximum efficiency. These pulses of light carry digital information, encoded in much the same way that Morse code once used pulses of electricity. This method allows for the rapid and efficient transfer of vast amounts of data. This information travels at the speed of light in water, enabling near instantaneous communication between continents. The speed and reliability of these cables are crucial for the functioning of our modern world. The sheer scale of this network is staggering, with cables stretching across the ocean floor like veins in a vast circulatory system. Hundreds of thousands of miles of these cables crisscross the ocean floor, connecting every corner of the globe. This extensive network ensures that even the most remote locations can stay connected. These cables are not merely laid on the seabed, they are buried beneath it, protected from fishing gear, anchors and the corrosive effects of seawater. This added layer of protection is essential for their longevity and reliability. The engineering challenges involved in laying and maintaining these cables are immense, requiring specialised ships and a deep understanding of oceanography. The process is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. These cables are not just technological marvels, they are essential infrastructure for our interconnected world. They form the backbone of our global communication network, supporting everything from internet browsing to international business. Without them, global communication as we know it would grind to a halt. The impact on our daily lives would be profound, affecting everything from personal communication to global commerce. In the following sections, we will delve deeper into the fascinating world of undersea fiber optic cables, exploring how they are made, how they are laid, and the vital role they play in our lives. Join us as we uncover the secrets of these underwater information superhighways. Creating a cable capable of withstanding the crushing pressures and corrosive environment of the deep ocean is no small feat. The challenges are immense and the stakes are high. Undersea fiber optic cables are intricate feats of engineering designed to survive for decades in one of the harshest environments on Earth. These cables are the backbone of global communication, connecting continents and enabling the internet as we know it. At the heart of the cable lie the optical fibers themselves, hair-thin strands of ultra-pure glass. These fibers are meticulously crafted to ensure maximum efficiency and minimal signal loss. These fibers transmit data as pulses of light, enabling incredibly high bandwidth and low signal loss. The speed and reliability of these transmissions are crucial for modern communication. Surrounding the fibers are layers of protection, each carefully chosen to withstand specific challenges. These layers work in unison to ensure the cable's longevity and performance. Steel wires provide tensile strength, preventing the cable from snapping under its own weight or from being snagged by underwater obstacles. This reinforcement is essential for the cable's structural integrity. Copper or aluminum tubing provides a hermetic seal, protecting the fibres from the ingress of water. This seal is vital to prevent any moisture from compromising the cable's functionality. Polyethylene insulation acts as a further barrier against moisture and provides electrical insulation. This layer ensures that the cable remains operational even in the most challenging conditions. Finally, a protective outer sheath often made of a tough abrasion-resistant plastic, shields the cable from the physical hazards of the ocean floor. This outer layer is the first line of defence against external threats. The exact composition of a cable varies depending on the depth and location in which it will be laid. 
Engineers must consider numerous factors to determine the optimal design for each specific environment. Cables in shallower waters might have a thicker outer sheath to protect against fishing gear, while cables in deeper waters might have a greater emphasis on pressure resistance. Each environment presents unique challenges that must be addressed. The design and manufacture of these cables is a precise science, requiring a deep understanding of material science, oceanography and telecommunications engineering. It is a collaborative effort that brings together experts from various fields to create these marvels of modern technology. Laying a fiber optic cable across thousands of miles of ocean floor is a complex and delicate operation. It requires specialized ships, sophisticated equipment and a team of highly skilled professionals and a meticulous understanding of the seabed which is achieved through advanced technology and careful planning. The process begins with a detailed survey of the proposed cable route using sonar and remotely operated vehicles or ROVs to map the ocean floor and identify any potential hazards. These surveys are crucial for ensuring the cable's longevity and functionality. Once a suitable route has been identified, a cable laying ship sets sail, embarking on a journey that can span continents. These ships are floating marvels of engineering, equipped with massive cable drums that can hold thousands of miles of cable and state-of-the-art navigation systems. The cable is carefully paid out from the ship, guided by underwater robots called ROVs, which ensure precision and accuracy. ROVs use high-resolution cameras and sonar to ensure the cable is laid precisely along the planned route, avoiding obstacles and minimizing disturbance to the seabed. This precision is vital for the cable's performance. In shallower waters, the cable might be buried beneath the seabed using a plough-like device, which helps protect it from potential damage. In deeper waters, the cable is simply laid on the seabed, where its weight is usually sufficient to keep it in place, ensuring stability. The laying process is slow and meticulous, with ships laying just a few miles of cable per day. This careful approach is necessary to avoid any errors. The entire process, from survey to completion, can take several months or even years, depending on the length and complexity of the cable route. Each step is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. Before a single metre of cable is laid, a comprehensive survey of the seabed is essential. This is not as simple as it might seem. The ocean floor is a dynamic and varied environment, crisscrossed by underwater canyons, dotted with sea mounts and home to a diverse array of marine life. Mapping this underwater terrain requires sophisticated technology and a deep understanding of oceanography. The first step in the mapping process is to use sonar to create a general bathymetric chart of the area. Sonar works by emitting sound waves and measuring the time it takes for them to bounce back from the seabed. By analysing these echoes, scientists can build up a detailed picture of the ocean floor's topography. Once a general route has been identified, remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, are deployed to conduct a more detailed survey. ROVs are equipped with high-resolution cameras, sonar and other sensors, allowing them to create a three-dimensional map of the seabed. They can identify potential hazards such as shipwrecks, pipelines and areas of unstable sediment. 